Creating dynamic charts in Excel is a powerful way to represent data that automatically updates as your data changes. Hi everyone, I'm Emmanuel and in this video I'll be showing you how to automate your charts in Excel which saves you a lot of time and effort when you do your data analysis. Looking at my screen here, I have some set of sample data sample data with different employees name their sales generated in different months now the objective of this is we want to create a chart from this data whereby where we have additional data take for example there was sales made in june july august september october november december automatically it update okay automatically it update now let's think around it what is the first thing we need to do because we want to make this as dynamic as possible this means almost all the formulas or function we'll be working with would be an array function now in this case the first one we'll be working with is the unique function and how or what do I want to make use of the unique function for? I want to be able to get the unique list of all these months so I can be able to get my data validation from the list. And all I need to do is equal to unique, equal to unique, and then I would select all of these. And how do I select just now? I do Control shift and down arrow key and then I have my unique list. So let me just say unique Which is unique list of this and you can see this is now in an array now The next thing is for us to get a data validation Which I can go back to and with that I would be able to navigate my chart now how do I get my data validation? I'll be making use of a shortcut called DL. And with that, I have this data validation box. I come to this, I come to this, I come to this, I click on list, click on list, and under list, I select the data range. I select the data range and I will press enter. Now, with that, Looking at this, if I click on January, my data validation is saying January. If I click on February, I have February. If I click on May, I have May down to June. Now, take for example, in this particular data, I have additional maybe July. And the name is, let's say, Emmanuel. And I have maybe, let's just copy this amount down here. Yeah. Now, let's see. You can see our unique month updated but our data validation did not update which means our data validation was not dynamic and there is a need for us to make it dynamic so we can be able to achieve what we want to achieve now how do i do that i come back to this by saying alt dl and i say instead of selecting a list now you can see these are selected january to june and it's not picking july i'll delete all this I'll select just January and I'll put an ash sign just at the front. What an ash sign helps you do is an ash sign help you make a list to become an array, which means anytime there is an additional data, it picks it automatically. And I click on enter now. Looking at this, you can see I now have July. Let me add something else, maybe August. And I copy this down and I copy this down coming back to my data validation you can see this update automatically all right now we've been able to achieve this the first next thing for us to do is to create a dynamic range and what do I need for my dynamic range I need my employee and also my sales values so let me just copy this heading let me copy this heading and then I paste it yeah. let me copy this again and I paste it here now how do I achieve this what I want to do now is I want to be able to bring out the unique list of 
employees and also their value from a particular selected month. And I'll be making use of a formula in Excel that spews, which is the filter function in Excel. Now, let's see how the filter function works. I'll do equal to filter. Now, filter is asking me for an array. What is my array? My array will be the all my names of employee and all the values right what is the next argument the next argument is asking me for what the next argument is asking me for what i want to include what i want to include so what i want to include is i want to test two different things which means this list of months this list of months are they equal to my data validation are they equal to my data validation and the next argument this is asking is if for example i selected a particular month and is not in the list what do you want me to return i can just say maybe um no sales or i can decide to skip the argument because anytime any day you see an argument in a square bracket in excel the argument is not compulsory so i can always skip it but for me i will just say no sales i close the bracket and i pressed enter now with that you can see in august you can see in august i have only emmanuel that sold if i click on january this changes if i click on february this changes if i click on april this changes if i click on any month this changes now with this the next thing is for us to now create our chart and how do we get our chart two different ways but for me i prefer to make use of an excel shortcut and the shortcut to create chart in excel is alt f1 alt f1 alt f1 alt f1 to do that now let me just reduce this a bit so i can have enough space to do what i'm about to do interesting now you can see i have my chart if i come to this place and i change this to january you can see how my chart updates automatically you can see my chart updates automatically but i want to do something very interesting i want us to change this or to sort it in a way whereby those with the highest number of sales comes before those with the lowest number of sales. I come back to my filter function and I say sort. And what am I sorting? What is the array? The array is the filter function. And my sort index means what are we sorting by? So in this case, we are sorting by the sales value, which is on the second column. So second column, this is saying the sort index, I say two, and then the last argument is now saying, is it ascending or descending order? In this case, I want the larger values to come first, which means it will be descending and I will say minus one, and then we click on enter. Automatically, this has updated. The next thing is for us to kind of edit our chart. We can delete this. We don't need this. We can delete uh, the grid lines we don't need it then we bring in our data label to show the value we bring in our data label to show the value of sales you can see that for this as well you can see for our values so let me take this out we don't have a thousand separator i want to select more range in case we have more values and i'll say control one control one control one I come to numbers thousand separator no decimals and then i say okay and then i say okay now you can see this as automatically update now let's take for example we had new data coming in from different months i go back to my data sheet so i have data from june down to december copy this and i bring it back to my data set so what we are trying to test here is we want to see if this data is going to update automatically so when i add this new data to this you can see my um data has updated down to december now let me change this you can see everything september i have just three staffs 
so let me bring this up so we can see that December I have just two staffs and two on and so forth and with this we've been able to automate and make our chart dynamic in Excel I'm sure this tip would be helpful and I'll see you in another video bye for now